Brick Chick here, and in this video I'm going to be opening up three of these LEGO Batman Movie minifigure packs. Alright, without further ado, let's open up these packs and see which minifigures I got. So, first one, got my scissors here, go ahead and cut it open, the second one open, and then the third one. Alright, let's see which minifigures I got. First one. Oh, didn't quite open it all the way. <laughs> hate when that happens. There we go. Alright, so it looks like that is a lobster loving Batman. That's a really cool minifigure. The second one is Robin. Pretty cool. And then the third one is also lobster loving Batman. Awesome. And with each one of these packs, you get one of these pamphlets, which shows you all the minifigures in the series. First, I'm going to assemble Robin, so I'll just take his legs, put those on top of the stand, and then put his torso on top of those, and then I'll put his head on there, and then his hair on top of that. His hair has those weird-looking goggles, and then he also has some shark repellent as his accessory. Here's a closer look at Robin. I'll go ahead and turn him all the way around. So first, I really like the legs that he has, how they kind of look like jeans. That is going to be a super useful piece for making custom minifigures. And then I also really like the red sweater that he's wearing. So his torso and his pants are the reason that I got this minifigure. And then I also really like his hairpiece. And attached to his hairpiece are these wacky looking goggles. I really wish the goggles weren't attached to the hairpiece because now this piece isn't as useful. And then if you take off his hairpiece without those goggles, now you can see what his face looks like a little better. He's smiling. And then his accessory is pretty cool. It is shark repellent, and that is a really cool print on that cylinder piece. And now I'm going to assemble Lobster Love and Batman. So I'll take his legs, put those on the stand, and then put his torso on top of those. Then I'll put his head on here. Then this piece goes on top of that. And then he has this really cool plate that is really cool looking if I can get it in his hand. There we go. And then he has this awesome new lobster piece. And since I got two of this minifigure, I went ahead and assembled the other one. And here's a closer look at Lobster Love and Batman. I'll go ahead and turn him all the way around. So I really like the printing on his robe. It's very intricate and detailed. I like the color of the robe too with the dark red and the black. It looks good. And then removing this piece, you can see his face underneath there. There's no alternate face, but that's okay. So the actual minifigure is cool, but of course the main reason that I got this minifigure is because of the awesome new accessories that he comes with. And those awesome new accessories are this amazing printed dish piece with kind of like the sauce and then a piece of like lettuce or cabbage. And then this awesome new lobster piece I cannot believe LEGO has not made a lobster piece yet, and I love it when LEGO makes new animal pieces. This just looks great. It's cute and realistic looking, and I really like that. This is going to be so, so useful. So useful that I actually got two of this minifigure just so I could get another lobster. So these are the three minifigures that I got. I got Robin and then two Lobster Love and Batmans. So you guys might be wondering why I only got three minifigures from this series and only two different minifigures because I got two of the same one. So the thing is, I just do not have the money to get all the minifigures from every minifigure series. It's just too expensive. So what I do is when a new minifigure series comes out, I go through the list and I pick out a couple of them that have some useful accessories that I can actually use just because I can't afford to get all of them. So I try to pick out ones that have useful pieces for me. So although all the minifigures in this series are really cool looking, these are the only minifigures that have accessories that'll be useful for me. But if I had a ton of money to spend on LEGO, I would just go to the store and get a bunch of minifigure packs and then just do like a blind bag opening and I just keep getting more packs until I got every minifigure in the series. I would love it if I could do that. I think that'd be really fun, but since I do have limited funds, I just pick out a couple minifigures from each series that have useful accessories, and then I go to the LEGO store and I try to feel for those minifigures. I feel the packs because I don't want to accidentally get a minifigure that I didn't want. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, and also let me know down in the comments what's your favorite minifigure from this series. And thanks for watching, guys!